right, the mic is working. Everything is working. Sorry, uh... Sorry for the late start, guys. We had some uh, server issues going on, but we have started a hosted session and we have figured out what the issues are. I say we, I was just in the conversation. I didn't actually figure out. Um, figured out the issues, so next uh, next race the server will start on time. So that is good. I'm um, just posting stream share link real quick and then we will get started um oh first time i've had uh nervous excitement for a sim race in a while just because I'm not as familiar with uh, our racing as I am with other things, so it's going to be exciting, potentially scary, potentially a disaster, or potentially ending up really good. Seeing him, so. I need to get a stream starting soon thing for uh, for iRacing. Don't have any. All right, that should be all good. <laughs> so, three classes. We are in the GTP. Make sure. Uh, OBS is working. The screen. All right. So we're going to do garage. My setups. I think we should be, yeah. All right, modified version of the setup I want. your mirrors. Stay behind the white line. Trying to get out of these guys' way, and I mean, technically I did. are cold. That corner right there is, besides turn one, is definitely the sketchiest. I am legitimately nervous. This is this brings me back to my early ACC days.
Sector one time is good. Too bad, just completely dropped off. All right. So we are going to be doing quali. We're all going to be out at the same time. I'm going to try to get out ahead. It's clear. Push. Okay, Brandon, we've got nine minutes to get the job done. I don't actually think this whip thing helps me under stress. Well, I can't turn it off. class uh, qualifying is going to be very interesting. I didn't realize that was going to be the way it was until the driver's briefing. Seem to focus on getting a clean one in. Start off. Don't know if that's really going to be possible though with all the different classes. traffic regardless. So you got a huge draft behind us. All right. He's still there. Right side's clear. B2, you're now 0.6 off the pace. Your lap time was 132.8. Try to stay out of people's way until we get them straight and then pass some of the slower cars. The guy ahead has just done a 132.8. Like I said, I think that one lap we put in is probably going to be our best. Just we really didn't have to do much traffic. All 
Sector 2 is 0.8 off the pace. See if we can get a most superior track for the next lap. Still holding on to third so far. That's pace wise, I think we'll be okay. I'm more worried about just pace differentials between the classes and things like that as far as P3, that puts you 6.3 in the off race. Pace. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. Very different than a public race and very different than an ACC race. But, if we play on the safe side, we should be okay. off the pace in sector two. Okay, Brandon, you've used half your fuel. Right, he's not on his out lap anymore, so. You're currently 0.9 off the leader's pace. You've just done a 133.1. this traffic yeah we're yellow flag watch out new fastest lap for wit 131.9 we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining yeah there's only two minutes left i think i'm gonna go back to the garage actually make sure my setup is how i want it Molson said he has it. It's limited to uh, 10, uh, or sorry, I think it's 70 or 80 percent. So we're going to put in the most we can. We will have to do a uh, we will have to do a pit stop for fuel. I have practiced that. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Let's see, we've been knocked down to fourth. Uh, yeah, I really think it's just all about, can you position yourself to get a clean lap? There's some GTPs who haven't gotten a quality lap in. I wonder if some people are just gonna start the back of the grid on purpose. So where's the GT3s? GT3s I imagine are for This is all a whole new world for me.
some people are like, nope, not doing mixed quality. And other people are like, I love it. Honestly, I'm not too worried about the starting position. I just want to not die. Can I set? session p5 all right um so we'll go ahead and get on the grid and we're gonna make sure we should have auto fuel on but we are not going to replace your tires. Your tires are going to last the whole hour, ideally. Just nervous excitement, nervous excitement. Yeah, you too, man. Is that you and P2? Alright, we're gonna leave it on relative so we have a good idea of uh P5. The track temp is twenty seven. The air temp is twenty six Celsius. Follow car number zero eight in the right column. It's so funny how he gets the column wrong. There are, uh, why are there only, oh, some of them are gone. I was like, why are there so few 
HTTPs. Alright, let's just pray there's no incidents and that we don't cause any specifically. We're just trying to survive, not gain places in left one. Right side. Man, we've already got nailed. There's an incident in International Horseshoe. It looks like halt. Still there. The right side's clear. That guy might have cut the track and had to let off some time. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's on your left. Clear on the left. Fuel set. Yeah, we're not gonna replace tires as of now, so that's good. Okay, Brandon, the next car is Carvalho. That was definitely very slow through there. Right side.
cockpit window for refuel will open after 28 minutes and closes after 36 minutes. Getting settled. Let's start hitting traffic in a few laps. And that's when it's going to get very interesting. That's a new fastest lap for Wit, 132.5. Good luck, that's your quickest today. Overdrive the front. Try not to overdrive the tires. I want to make these things last. lap in this session. Yellow flag incident in International Horseshoe. The gap to Castellano ahead is now 0.9. The guy only left. They left. Turns so sketchy. All right, we haven't hit major traffic yet. Last lap was at 133.5. Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to make that corner. It's a tiny bit late. Slow GT3 car. It's tricky because it's not just the top speed that's different, it's the uh, breaking points as well. Okay, Brandon, you're reeling Castellano in the gaps now, 0.6. Slower class cars ahead, the left.
All right, we're about 10 minutes in. Besides a little nudge in our rear, we have uh, doing all right. That lap time was 133.6. Lower class car. Oh, I don't think he can make up his mind on whether he wanted me to go or not. Yeah, Porsche just got a slingshot out there. Left side, there's a car. You are clear on the left. Ah, uh, bad look, mate. I'm just trying to survive. Traffic here. Slower cars ahead. These guys are fighting for position. The group includes their class leader. It's gone on your right. You are clear on the right. Incident in turn one. Oh, that's Molson, okay. Coming up on a slower class car. Is that an LMP2? I think so. Right side. Right side's clear. The gap ahead is now 0.7. close right there. Come on, nail him already.
All right, the next GTP behind us is almost 10 seconds, so. Okay, Brandon, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Could be good. Definitely not talking as much in these races. There's just so much going on. Much higher speed than ACC, at least in this car class, and then. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. You've just done it, 133.6. Hopefully not, uh, pit it, not changing tires is the right call. I've only locked them up really once, so I'm not worried about tires from that point. But Ooh, Porsche getting a little squirrely there. He was right on the Cadillac. He's kind of dropped off. speed in there just a little bit. That was a uh, 133.8. I think some of the GT3s get nervous and aren't sure if they should get out of the way or stick their line, but sticking your line is the easiest way for us to get past cleanly. B6. left. No way. Oh, no. No damage, at least. It's almost like you can tell they're going to happen before they happen. Incident in turn five. You think it might be Quirots? All right, they did the same exact thing I did. I don't feel so bad. I'm like very hesitant to get on the throttle. What a learning experience this is. Uh, 
There's an incident in the bus stop. It looks like right, it's right. Castellano. Martin is closing in. The gap is now 1.1 seconds. There's an incident in turn 12. It looks like Castellano. All right, I think we're going to be back into P6 after this lap. We lost a couple spaces, but then got a couple spaces back, so should update. Yeah, we're P6 again, okay. Yeah, now I'm like mentally psyched out over that corner. big wave of traffic again. Psyched out from that corner, man. Oh no, P. Your last lap time was at 134.3. Sector 3 is a second off the pace. There's a guy on your left. Left side's clear. Or if you did the exact same thing I did. That's a car on the wall.
All right. Oh, got further ahead from us, but we got a halt ahead is increasing. Good it's amount ahead of uh, Martin. Was that 134.4? All right, there we go. You're coming up on a slower inside. car. On your left. Left side's clear. Oh, we probably should have pit to avoid this traffic. Skinner has been disqualified. You're approaching a group of slower cars. Yeah, we definitely should have pit. Car left. Still there. Clear left. Car left. You're clear on the left. Slow car ahead. This is the leader for their class. On your left. Left side's clear. LP didn't pit. Interesting. All right. Ooh, crash. Incident in. We'll stop. All right. I'm gonna pit just because of safety, uh, safety margin. speed limit is 88 kilometers per hour. I haven't made any crazy self-inflicted wounds besides the one, uh, one crash. I just wonder if it was worth it to change tires with this amount of fuel or not. Don't know. are going to be a little colder. It takes it's clear. Stay behind the white line. Okay, Brandon. There's a group of slower cars ahead. These guys are busy fighting each other. halfway point. We think about 31 minutes of fuel remaining. <laughs> right 
right side. Right side's clear. Pit window open. Left side. Here on the left. Ogle is now leading. Start pitting. We moved up to fifth. Hey, what's up, man? Wit is now in the lead. The first, uh, first I racing league race. This shit is intense. How you been? CG3s. Actually, no, this may work out perfectly. Slower cars ahead. These guys will be fighting for position. They might not see you. Hey, sometimes that's a good thing, though. I feel like I might be in the sim a little too much sometimes. Gap to Castellano ahead is increasing. It's now 2.4 seconds. P7, come on, focus. We need more speed. Don't try to brake later. Just concentrate harder. All right, Brandon. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Bogle is now leading. Yeah, I can imagine. Is it the, uh, I know you were, you were doing photography at one point, right? Is it related to that or something different? Hell yeah, man. It's nice to work from home, but like with everything, the pros and cons. Oh, that's Molson.
approach in a group of slower cars. All right, lots of GT3s. I'm a GTP, so we got GT3s, LMP2s, and GTPs all in here. Martin is closing the gap. It's now 2.9 seconds. He's faster than you into bus stop. Yeah, it's uh, it's wild. I didn't want to do GT3 because I was like, that's so close to Coming ACC. Up on a class car. I want to do something different in iRacing and. I don't know, the new GTP cars are really cool. So I hopped in those. I thought about doing LMP2, but... I don't want to be stuck behind this guy for too long. Whoa! Car on your left. Clear on the left. already pit for fuel. We had fuel tank limits. And I did not pit for tires because I believe it would have taken extra time. And the tires should last the whole race. We're 22 minutes left. Let's see if that was a mistake or not. Look, Porsche's going in the pits. Slower car ahead. He's the class leader for these guys. Had one self-inflicted spin, but no damage from it, so. Really just trying to survive. There's an incident in turn five. Seven on major cast win. I don't know if you can really reel him in or not. can take care of so much more speed through here. Alright, that's an LP2 ahead. Yeah, now that I'm like got everything configured how I want. Um, Captain and things figured out. It's there's an incident in turn one, B7. Turn one coming up on a slower class car. I didn't see a car. Um, yeah, there's just a lot more depth that you can left side, left side have in these sims. So. Left side, Play left. This all like third party. I mean, iRacing has its own system that's great, but there's you know. LFM with ACC essentially does the same thing and sometimes though I do miss the simplicity of Xbox. But You get more options, but there's more work. So. 20 minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. It ends up evening out. You're coming up on a slower car. Hello, Ferrari. I would buy it. Whoa, my God. Really slow down. Martin 
Martin was closing you down. The gap has come down to 4.6. P6, that was a 135.1. Turn one is where I spun earlier, so I'm like terrified of that corner now. Okay, Brandon, slower cars ahead. These guys will be fighting for position. They might not see you. There's an incident in turn six. Clear left. Yeah, I ended up uh, moving to Simagic. On your left. I really wasn't planning on upgrading from the Thrustmaster for a while, but I was at Formula Drift side, earlier this year and got to test out a Simagic setup and was like, I think I made it two weeks of trying to convince myself not to get it. I had no issues with that Thrustmaster wheel. Direct drift's kind of like you don't know what you're what you're missing until you try it. So if you can keep from trying it for as long as possible, you'll be fine. P7, sector one is 3.8 off the pace. Sector two time is quick. Sector three is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Slower class car ahead. Yeah, Kesselman's extending his lead. But maybe we manage tires better. Pretty consistent sustained traffic now. Everybody's kind of spread out. Incident in International Horseshoe. Slower class car ahead. Sector 1 is 3.1 seconds off the pace. Sector 2 time is okay. Sector 3 is 4.1 off the pace. Guy behind is just trying to unlap himself. Whoa! Incident in bus stop. Woo! Okay, that froze, froze minutes me up, distracting me. Right. Oh, we didn't make a mistake. And still there. He's still with you. Still there. Hold your line. This line. Still there. Right side's so clear. Alright, we have nothing to lose by letting Slower class car ahead. It's a lap down. I 
know the Spartans gaining, but extremely slowly. We got 14 minutes left. Passing under braking is much simpler against GT30s than LMP2s. Stay calm, keep it smooth. Sixth place. Not that was a 134.4. It's saying sixth place, but I think it's saying seven. Somebody went in the pits or something. There's an incident in turn six. Car on your right side. Clear on the right. A group of faster cars approaching. Interesting. Slower class car ahead. Kesselman's really pulled time out on us. Okay, Brandon, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. You're coming up on a slower car. Right. 
this looks interesting up there. You're approaching a group of slower class cars. Car left. Be on the left. Lost a lot of time there, but less time than we would have if we got an X. <laughs> Did that allow Martin to get closer? Can't tell yet. Your lap time was 134.8. There's an incident in turn one. It looks like it's Martin. Oh, all right. So Martin's out, Carly spun, so we don't need to worry about him. Let's just bring it home. P5. I don't know where he's getting these positions from. I really don't. Bogle is leading the race. It's also saying Fogel's leading the race, but showing me Witt is. Man, I feel it's going to be tight. International horseshoe. It looks like Carvalho P7. That lap time was Slower class car. Wit is now leading. I think he's really confused. There's a group of slower cars ahead. What's leading the race? That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. He's got the time right. Right side. Clear on the right. Come 
Commander. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Your lap time was at 133.8. I really hope we have enough fuel. Car ahead is wet. Incident in International Horseshoe. We think it might be Holt P5. You've just done a 134.2. Very little fuel left. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Slower class car ahead. Incident in Might have the fuel save Looks some. Looks like it's Vogel. Castellano is leading the race. Oh, we passed somebody. Car left. Clear on the left. Really worried we might run out of fuel. Actually. Oh, what am I doing? We're running on fumes, mate. Stay between the lines. The guy on your right, the right side's clear. Alright. Yeah, see, it's saying if this isn't final lap, then we're screwed. Wit is now in the lead. All right, it is the final lap. We're gonna end up like coasting across the line, probably. One more lap to go. And that was with filling it to the brim that it would let us before the pit and during the pit. Maybe we can feel safe and end up ahead of him. These guys did some fuel saving earlier. Or what? But yeah, we're gonna run out of fuel. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. We're just going to have to coast. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened there. We think P6 has gone off in turn 12. We're out of fuel. And we finished. That was a turn two. bad right like there. Carvalho, P4. Okay, it's over. Good drive. That's going to definitely be reported and looked at.
All right, he's saying P5, but I'm seeing... Oh, he said Great Jeff. All right. Yeah, they were... They were kind of wobbling. I don't know if one was moving moving too far over or what, but wow. All right, P4. Um, I don't think we really deserved the P4, but... <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't see if it was both of them or just one of them. I want to go back. Look at that. Um... That's where I completely missed my breaking point. All right. I want to see. I don't know how to choose car. Oh, here we go. Are these people ahead of me? Are these are people behind me. See, I'm not finding these guys. Get with these. All right, so maybe it's this lap. Yeah, I gotta see if they'll adjust. They might, we might. I'm assuming I'm not the only one who almost ran out of fuel. All right, so Rodriguez and yeah, Peter Holt, they were right on each other. So yeah, it looks like is hold the Cadillac. What? God, so holds the Cadillac. So yeah, hold is holding his line. You can look at the white line. And yeah, the Porsche just. Well, did the Porsche move? They might have both moved. Let's see if we can figure out a different. Now it looks like the Porsche kind of the Porsche moved over because he's making sure he's clearing the GT3. That's really what it was. God, that is wild, man. I'm trying to see if the GT3 did anything. GT3 held his on. Yeah, Porsche just moved. Yeah, I know, man. Actually, if he's streaming, I need to go see. I imagine his reaction is not very happy. That Porsche just goes absolutely flying. And then Pete, to his credit, holds it. Does he make it across the line? He makes it across the line. So hopefully that counts as a finish for him. He actually got... They don't, I don't know, you know if it's telling you to come back to the pits. I don't know if it disqualifies you. <laughs> yeah god you're not wrong man i mean i would be frustrated as well but you know it is what it is i think if i still was able to finish like pete did and technically only lost like one place i wouldn't be that mad um, and the porsche guy can't really be mad because that was his his move so i get what he was doing he was trying to make sure he's not you know running into the back of the gt3 but uh yeah uh it was it was pretty good uh, i had a couple self-inflicted inflicted moments um i uh i spun in turn one probably halfway through the race maybe a little bit in the first half uh, and that kind of broke my confidence a little bit especially in turn one uh and then i kind of got that back up and then i was taking the bus stop uh faster and taking turn one faster but it wasn't enough to catch anybody ahead pace wise but then there's that big accident with uh with pete and all that yeah so forzy i think i mean i it's easier for me to get frames in this game than acc uh let me see graphic wise i just turned foliage off that helped um I just looked up like settings that really matter and maximize those. Um, but yeah, it's it, this, this game actually, I think this game 
might be more CPU intensive than ACC. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I tend to get an easier 120 in this game than I do in uh, ACC. So, but yeah, uh, how was yours, Gian? Oh God, I thought I did something wrong. Someone tagged me and said, what the hell, man? And they were talking about my pace after the pit stop. Woo. That scared me. Got hit turn four left on. Yeah, I heard an incident and was hoping. He, he never, he told me the names a couple of times. Um, ended up in the P2 field. Yeah. What place did you end up coming in? Yeah, I spun once. I didn't know. Did you change tires? Well, two questions. One, did you change tires? And two, did you run out of fuel at the end? I did not change tires, and I ran out of fuel, like, coming around the last corner. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you stopping by, man. Um, and congrats on the business, man. That's awesome. Hope, uh, hope that all works out well. You changed rear tires. Interesting. Okay. Was it like if you change one axle that could be within the refueling? It was good, really? I, I got bumped at the beginning in the rear, and I don't know if this game's like ACC where if you get aero damage, it affects your fuel consumption. I don't know if my fuel consumption was crazy high or if it's just the Cadillac in general. I'll have to ask other people, but yeah, it was... I mean, I maxed it out at the beginning and maxed it out in the pit stop. Yeah, I I did a tiny bit in the last two laps. If we had to do one more lap, like if the leader was able to cross the line and do one more lap, I would have been done so. Um so I may mention that to Molson just in case other people. Cause if I had to do a second pit stop, that would have been a disaster. And the crew chief guy didn't really tell me until like two laps left. Um, if you change both rear or both front, don't lose time in the pits. Okay. Does that not make the car handle crazy though? Or handle weird? I guess they're not, the other axle isn't getting that worn in like 30 minutes. All right. Interesting. Especially in like a 45 minute race, it probably makes almost no difference. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind next time. The car, I mean, the car felt fine the whole hour. So, but yeah, I guess if I'm not going to lose time doing it, then. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, I, sur I survived for the most part. I didn't, I didn't hit anybody. That was my main concern was locking up and hitting somebody. Turn one or, you know, turn, or the, what is it? The International Horseshoe. Um, I wasn't really worried about hitting a lower class car. But really, just lap one in the LMPs, I was worried about getting hit. But yeah, I got guy kind of dive bombed and clipped me my back right, and uh, I don't know how much that affected my pace. But Whew. well, we survived, and it sounds like they figured out the issue that was not allowing us to join the server. So um, that should be fixed next time. So hopefully, the race starts on time next time. Um. Ooh, yeah, that is that is intense. That is just something different. I was saying earlier, it's the first time I've been like nervously excited for a race in a long time, just because ACC I'm so comfortable with. And then if public eye racing races aren't as serious and aren't as fast, all the classes I do. So yeah, this was uh, this was wild. Did you did you see the accident that happened between Pete and uh, someone else? I'm going to replay it if you haven't. The Porsche moves up to avoid the GT3 car, and they go. Boom. This was last lap, so that's me in the red Cadillac slipping through there with no fuel. Yeah, that was... I got two places right at the end from that. Is there a way to do slow motion? And, uh, yeah, because 
Pete was able to hold it. I mean, obviously he didn't go do 800 rotations in the air. So he was able to finish. He only lost a place from that. But good Lord. All right, I don't have any uh, incidents to report. So we're not gonna save this replay. Results ready. So yeah, we should have been, yeah, we got fourth. Look at that D class, D license. So where, so yeah, some GTPs and LMP2s got mixed up. So Dylan, I don't know who that is. I know Athwall, so he got second. Let me, let me sort it by classes actually. GTP. Where people are gonna seventh, nice. Alex Martin, yeah, he was like, he was behind me, but he kept, he would reel me in and then drop back and reel me in. I was getting nervous with him. And then these three guys just, Kasman moved all the way up to second, wow. He was in like sixth place at one point. That dude has pace. He was doing, his best lap was 32.6, mine was 32.8. Yours was 33.3. Yeah, everyone was pretty close. All right, GR, the LMP2s. Athwell second, Ricard third, Will Green, Anderson. They recognize a lot more names than LMP2. I saw Skinner got disqualified. I don't know what happened to him. These two guys got disconnected. I guess maybe he got in a just giant accident. And then GT3s. Adam Willie nursing a uh, recently broken arm or broken, yeah, I think it was arm, either arm or wrist. Held it down, got sixth in uh, GT3. All right, well. Whew, I am, uh, I'm going to call it there, boys. That was fun. And that's a track I know. I'm looking forward to uh, some tracks I don't, no, quite yet. Really uh, practicing them in the week leading up to. And now that I kind of have a longer race down uh, strategy-wise, I know, okay, my tires aren't going to completely fall off in an hour. And I kind of have an idea about fuel, so. And pit stop working and all that, so. I'll be more comfortable. Yeah, Sebring, I know, I know Sebring, but I don't know it in, like, GTPs. I've done run race and GTPs on it. Um, When they have that up in, like, week... 12 or week 13 or whatever uh but um yeah so i always know where i'm going on sebring that's that's nice but it's let me actually pull up let me get a let me pull up the event because, yeah, there's a few tracks I don't know, but there's most of them I do. Races. So, yeah, Sebring I know, Long Beach I know, Laguna Seca I know, Watkins Glen no. Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, no idea. Never driven that in any game. Lime Rock I know, which that might get changed, actually, because multi-class there's going to be difficult. Road America I know, VIR I know, unfortunately. Indy I know, and Road Atlanta I know. So, yeah, it's really... Just going to be Canadian Tire, and then if we replace Lime Rock with another track, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Looking forward to Sebring in two weeks. I'm, I'm going to be doing an ACC, like, GT4 uh, SimGrid VCO race that morning. And then we'll have the iRacing day. Is it... Miami Homestead, or is it a different Miami? Tracks. I assume these are in alphabetical. Of course they're not. Track name. It's still not even. It is Homestead, okay. I know that from Forza, assuming it's the same uh, Homestead Miami, assuming it's the same layout. 
Trek map. Yeah, but then I got to reach for my keyboard and it's all, it's a whole thing, you know. First world problems. All right, I wonder which one we'll do. If we'll do road course A or road course B. Either way, at least we'll know where I'm going. GTP there will be interesting. Just one more track I got to buy. Actually, you know, Lime Rock might actually be free. May have not had to pay for Lime Rock. Yeah, I think A, A will be more fun. Because, yeah, I recognize it from Forza. It might, it might have been a little different in Forza. Maybe not, though. Oh, no, this is, okay, this is turn one. Yeah, I recognize this. This is the same as Forza. This section right here, 9 through 12, is really tricky. As far, like, your line is the most important thing here. Which, in GTPs, it'll probably just be able to go almost full throttle around these. But this chicane right here is really tricky. To not, like, launch yourself into the wall. If you take too shallow of a line. God, these screenshots are from back in the day, it looks like. All right. Well, I'm going to call it there. Um, we both finished, so that's good. And that's all. I just wanted to finish without taking anybody else out was my main thing. I took myself out once, but no damage from the spin, luckily. So um, just rebuild confidence and kept it going. Uh, tomorrow, I will be streaming the DRL ACC race. Um, I'm actually not sure what track that is at, but that's ACC, so I'll be fine there. Um, and then Monday, we'll be doing the typical Monday night iRacing with like GR86 and Mix5. I'm going to try to look at the schedule ahead of time and plan it better than uh, last week. And then Wednesday, I may or may not be doing LFM. Um, we might be practicing for our SimGrid BCO GT4 uh, playoffs race that night. Um, depending on what time that is, I may do like the two sprint LFM races and then get off or do one 45 minute race and then get off. We'll see. But, um, but yeah. And then, yeah. So no, no IMSA race next Saturday. It's in two Saturdays. Um, next Saturday, box three Xbox starts. So if you are interested in racing, uh, ACC on Xbox with us, we'll be starting our first race is at Solder practice servers up. So you can sign up on SimGrid. I can add you in the entry list and can, uh, Join there. We'll be doing six races on, I think it's six of the next seven Saturdays. We took uh, Thanksgiving weekend off. Um, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is, uh, that's all that's coming up. So I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, sorry the stream started late. They've, there were server issues and things that well, actually just kind of figuring out it's our first big iRacing uh, league. So. Um, but that should be sorted for the next race. So, uh, yeah. Good race to uh, everybody who participated and uh, everybody who tuned in. Thank you for uh, watching as always. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.